Hey guys, Bumpin 25 here, watching the docking of the ATV-5 to the ISS. Let me just a quick check right now. Good day from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space yeah, Center in Houston. You are nice looking working. live inside Mission Control. Here at this hour, the console monitoring all of the functions of the International Space Station on this, the docking day for the Georges Le automated transfer vehicle functions of the International Space Station on this the docking day for the Georges Lamatra automated transport of the Zvezda service module at this hour uh as the International Space Station in for a link up to the aft port of the Zvezda service module at this hour uh as the International Space Station and the Automated Transfer Vehicle fly 260 miles over Mongolia, moving in an orbit from southwest to northeast, an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator, a good view of the Automated Transfer Vehicle two weeks following its liftoff atop an Ariane 5 rocket to begin its two-week trek to the International Space Station. Here in Mission Control at this hour, the team of flight controllers on console led by Flight Director Tony Sakata on the right side of your screen, the lead NASA flight director for this final flight of the automated transfer vehicle, the fifth and final flight of the European cargo craft to the International Space Station. He is joined on console at this hour to his right on the left of your screen by spacecraft communicator Jay Marshke, who will be talking to the crew when required during the course of the final phase of this approach for docking that is scheduled at 8.30 a.m. Central Time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, just inside an hour and a half from now. This view from uh, cameras aboard uh, the uh Zvezda service module uh, looking uh, back toward uh, the vicinity where the automated transfer vehicle is located and closing in, showing a distance of just uh, 360 meters. Uh, we are moving to a point uh, at which uh, the automated transfer vehicle, and you see its thrusters firing. This is all uh, pre-programmed uh, on automated command through the computers on the automated transfer vehicle itself, closing to a point uh, called the S3 hold point. Uh, that it will arrive at about three and a half minutes from now or a distance of some 820 feet behind the International Space Station for a period of about 36 minutes of station keeping. At that point, uh, the team of flight controllers uh, in charge of today's operation, the European Space Agency flight control team at the Automated Transfer Vehicle Control Center in Toulouse, France that you're looking at right now, they will be sending a series of commands uh, to transition the Automated Transfer Vehicle from the guidance uh, it has uh followed through its global positioning system hardware to a videometer-based guidance system. The videometer is a series of sensors on the forward portion just above the, the uh, extended docking uh, cone at the uh, forward end of the automated transfer vehicle. Those videometers will begin uh, locking on to a series of uh, similar sensors on the aft port of the Russian segment of the International Space Station on the Zvezda service module to guide the automated transfer vehicle in for its final approach and link up again scheduled at 8.30 a.m. Central Time today. As you can see the it's thrusters firing and As we mentioned earlier it has been a long two week trek uh, for Georges Lamatra to reach this point uh, in its final uh, phase uh, of approach for docking. That journey began two weeks ago today on the evening of July 29th with its liftoff atop an Ariane 5 rocket from the jungle <laughs> spaceport on the northern coast of South America in Karoo, French Guiana, where the Vulcan main engine lit up, the Ariane 5 lifted off and began uh, to climb its way northeast away from uh, French Guiana en route to its preliminary orbit where it... Uh, deployed uh, the Georges Lamatra, uh, which uh, then uh, unfurled its uh, X-shaped solar arrays to a wingspan of some 73 feet and began a series of uh, complex rendezvous maneuvers over the next two weeks, uh, which in part uh, carried the automated transfer vehicle uh, to a point uh, last Friday afternoon, uh, just about 3.7 uh, statute miles directly underneath the station, where uh, the automated transfer vehicle tested a sweet 
fleet of lasers and sensors in a so-called fly-under of the station that um, provided data for European flight controllers who will be using similar sensors and laser systems in the integration uh, of those systems in uh, okay. European spacecraft that will be built in the future. Again, uh, this view now back live of the automated okay, transfer vehicle, uh, the Georges Lamatra, which is 13 tons in mass, carrying some 7.2 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 40 crew aboard the International Space Station. The manifest broken down cargo, some 1,900 pounds of propellant that will be transferred into the Russian segment of the Internet. 170 pounds of propulsive capability uh, in the fuel tanks of the automated transfer vehicle. Eight pounds of water, 220 pounds of gas that is uh, comprised of two oxygen tanks and one tank of air for a total of some 14,555 pounds of cargo and supplies or about seven an automated transfer vehicle to the International Space Station. These uh, large cargo crowns of cargo and supplies were about 7.2 two tons on this, the final journey of an automated transfer vehicle to the International Space Station. These uh, large cargo craft, the largest resupply craft, in fact, in the arsenal of international cargo vehicles that supply the International Space Station, began with the maiden launch of the automated transfer vehicle, the Jules Verne, back in March of 2008. Now, six and a half uh, years later, uh, the automated transfer vehicle on final approach to, uh, for its final docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, where it will reside until late January of next year. At that point, filled with trash, it will be uh, undocked and uh, deorbited to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. This final automated transfer vehicle is named after Georges Lamatra, the 20th century Belgian astronomer who is credited with espousing the theory of the expansion of the universe. Uh, Georges Lamatra, the uh, final uh, moniker uh, placed on uh, an automated transfer vehicle that again uh, has been the hallmark of uh, European uh, cargo contribution to the International Space Station. Uh, the European Space Agency, after this flight, uh, will be turning its attention to uh, the development and uh, coordination of the building of the service module for the new Orion spacecraft that uh, will be launched on its maiden flight on uh, the exploration flight test uh, in uh, December of this year atop a Delta IV heavy rocket from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The European Space Agency's contribution, the service module, to be incorporated in Orion test flights and then future human flights of the Orion craft in the future. And station, we just got a confirmation that uh, ATV has started station keeping at S3. So everything is nominal so far. Copy and confirm. Pounds of cargo and supplies were about seven. Once again, uh, looking a very good view of the automated transfer vehicle with that has now reached the S3 station keeping point. Uh, the, uh, these various hold points are designed uh, to uh, provide uh, the flight controllers in Toulouse, France at the automated transfer vehicle control center that you see here in this live view. An opportunity to check out all of the various systems of uh, the Georges Lamatra before proceeding on. And again, this uh, S3 hold point at a distance of just 820 feet away from the aft port of the Zvezda service module uh, will provide those flight controllers an opportunity uh, to transition from a GPS-based uh, guidance system to the videometers on the forward end of the automated transfer vehicle just above the forward docking probe, as well as uh, to uh, make sure that uh, the Russian flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside Moscow that you're looking at right here 